Hi friends, I'm here with uh, Fred. Bad news, he will explain to you. Hi everyone. Yes, bad news. About a, a month and a half ago, I had a relapse of uh, the cancer that I had three years ago. And uh, if it's possible, it's even harder and more painful than the first time. So it's a, it's a rectal cancer again. Uh, the tumor is quite big, it's nine centimeter, a little bit smaller than the first time. The bad news is the positioning of the tumor. So the tumor blocks the rectum and it blocks the bladder. So it's impossible for me to pee or to have bowel movement. And that's the main, that's the main concern. So you have a lot of pain. And I mean a lot of pain, yes. I lost a lot of weight. I went again from 65, 70 kilos to 50 kilos, which as you can see is not a lot. But uh, we're going to discuss that and discuss why and, and, and what, what, I, what I want to do. But uh, basically it's a, it's a hard time, hard time and uh, the doctors are a little bit skeptical as far as my healing this time. They already told me the first time that without the surgery where they would have to remove the lower part of the colon and the rectum plus the sphincter muscles, uh, it would be impossible for me to, to survive because it's a genetic cancer and not a lifestyle cancer. So it will come back again and again and again. So basically the surgery was uh, accompanied with a uh, colostomy so they would cut the lower part of the colon they would put a, a bag for bowel movement and I would have to live with that for the rest of my life and uh, as you know from my previous story I said no uh, I disagree with it and uh, so the protocol this time was the same as last time chemotherapy plus radiation plus uh, surgery uh, I did one session of chemotherapy, the first one, and I was so sick that even that I have decided not to continue. So I won't do chemotherapy, I won't do radiation, and I'm not gonna have this uh, terrible surgery. But thanks God we found some solutions. other solutions. Yes. Nano knife, you yes. will explain? Yes, before that, I just wanna briefly go over the cause. Yes, of course. And. Uh, why this has happened to me? You didn't cheat. You didn't eat bad food. No. So why? So why? It's not food related. Food related. That's sure. Uh, all my doctors told me that uh, all the evidence show that it's one of the very few, uh, three to five percent, genetic cancer. So, uh, but even then. My, I didn't cheat. I mean, I had a piece of apple pie, sugar-free apple pie for Christmas, maybe two or three bowl of rice with a Chinese dinner here and there, uh, but that's it. So I didn't really cheat, even for Christmas. I was, uh, I was quite serious. A little bit of cheat, but like I said, nothing that will give someone cancer. Um, but so you the, had a lot of stress. Yes, so three things happened. Number one, like we said before, the genetic really uh, is, is, is not uh, on my side and it's, it's difficult. The cancer wants to come back, if we can, if we can put it this way. Uh, second, I had a very stressful three months, three to four months. And of course, that is very, very uh, uh, good for cancer to, to, to relapse and to develop, unfortunately. And uh, my worst fear, we talked to you a few months ago about that stress and I didn't want to lose my house and, and go back to France because I built, I built a life here in the US. And uh, unfortunately, I'm still in the US, but unfortunately, we lost our house. Um, I, uh, I had to move from a beautiful house in the mountain where I was really happy, a big yard for my dog and for me to play, to uh, a small apartment in the city with no yard no space, uh, it's not fun for my dog, it's not fun for me, and really I'm miserable there. And that stress, that, that 
that emotion that I have that it's not my home really played, I think, a role yes. in, uh, in the relapse. And finally, uh, the... Uh, chemotherapy? The chemotherapy, yes. So three years ago, I did three sessions of chemotherapy, if you remember well. And I thought that it was so little that I would not have any, any trace, I would not have any side effects. But according to some of the brightest mind in cancer research, people like Thomas Siegfried, people like Maurice Israel, all those genius of cancer research, uh, they believe that, yes, chemotherapy, even a small amount of chemo, leaves traces, and there are molecules that apparently stay in the liver for quite a long time. They are stuck in the liver until they are finally released into the bloodstream. And that for that period of time, when, when you have chemo in your blood, you are very, very much at risk of relapse and uh, for any cancer to come back. And apparently that's what happened to me. So everybody agrees to say that this cancer, the first one three years ago, and the relapse that I had a month and a half ago, are not food related, they are not lifestyle related, I didn't do any mistake, uh, I did my best always, but they are genetic, stress related, and of course some traces of the chemotherapy still in my blood. But we find a solution. Yes, the good news is as always, we always try to look into non-invasive techniques and protocols and of course I'm back with high doses of our metabolic protocol and the five essentials that we talk about all the time. Uh, I, I have added some uh, new things that I didn't do before, uh, high doses of vitamin C but by IV directly injected into my vein and that seems to help. Um, I have, uh, I have used also uh, ozone slash oxygen therapy, which also helps to reduce the size of the tumor. Of course, I use fasting, nutrition, just like I did before. But the, the, the protocol that apparently, according to the experts, that really can save my life is a nanosurgery called nano knife technology. And uh, unfortunately, here in the US, it's extremely expensive but we're doing our best because it's, it's really the, the thing that can save my life and that can remove that tumor, definitely. Definitely. Yes. yes. So, it. it's finished for you. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah, I'm going to go and rest a little bit and uh, Lila is going gonna, is gonna to come and finish with you if you're okay with okay. that. Okay, absolutely. Bye everybody. I really hope I'm gonna thank you. See you very well, uh, very soon. At the best of my, of my health, and uh, and I will keep you updated. Thank you everyone for your love and support. Everybody call me the samurai, but he's more samurai than me. <laughs> Hi friend again. Lila will explain to us the purpose of her message. Hi everybody. Um, well, first of all, for those who don't know me, I'm um, Lila. I'm Fred's wife. Um, it's true that it's not. It has not been easy lately. Um, we have been in a, a lot of stress, um, a lot of pressure, a lot of pain. Uh, it's been a real struggle and I really feel like I could also rely to all the people who are suffering um, from cancer. I know how hard oh, it is yes. and uh, all those days being the one that you love. Um, just witnessing the pain and not being able to do anything else than hold hand um yeah it's it's a it's a struggle it's a struggle it's more than that yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> no you don't have to be sorry so uh, this uh, nanochirurgy is very costly uh, 
Fred and Lila uh, spent everything they have, they had in the medical process, bills. the medical bills, yes. And now to save Fred lives, we need your help. We need your money. Uh, like I say, I have uh, 10 million views on my uh, channel, Cancer Therapy and uh, Survive from Cancer. And if you give one dollar, one dollar, we will save Fred lives. Please do it for him. He's, come on, he merit. Uh, he's worth it. He's I worth it. Yes. Well, uh, for for the people who know Fred really closely, I I believe um, you know how how a strong person, uh, caring person he is. I hope I hope um, for the, those who don't know him personally, you will. But uh, I, it's not easy to talk about it on camera, obviously on spot like that. But um, but my my um, friends and team did create that GoFundMe to help us with um, going further for that surgery. And like guys say, we believe it could be the solution to save his life at the moment. It's it's the best bet. So. And it's true that um, it's it's just costly. It's it's life, and uh, we would appreciate any donation, small or big, it doesn't matter. As well as all, all the prayers you guys can give us, um, I'll take it gladly. It, it it means the world to us, frankly. A lot of uh, Fred friends already gave money. I gave money. My wife gave money, and we count on you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for all the support. And uh, frankly, I, I wouldn't be able to uh, do that without all the love, all the family behind me. And like, when I say family, it's all of you, Guy, as well. Thank you. And uh, just, just a big thank you to everyone out there. Okay. Your turn. 